Good morning and thank you for taking the time out to join us once again for yet another International Prayer House Ministries devotional. My name is Rafi Cumberbatch and I want to encourage your heart today in the name of Jesus. Today I want to let you know that you are positioned for purpose. Yes, positioned for purpose. In the book of Genesis chapter 37 from there on we learned about Joseph, a young man who was at the tender age of 17 who God gave two dreams those dreams cause him to face some trials some challenges the scripture tells us that as a result of those dreams his brothers hated him the more it continues to show us how they plotted the beginning of his disappearance i don't think that joseph knew as a result of sharing his dreams he would have ended up on this course he didn't have a slightest idea that the path he would have now had to take would have been so rugged to face rejection, betrayal, loneliness, sexual harassment. It was a tough place for a young lad, honestly speaking, coming from a place where you are loved by your father to a place where you're now not so certain as to what the future holds for you. But God always have a plan. Glory be to God. We serve a God who's a mastermind of great ideas. And he knows exactly what it takes to get us from the place where we were to the place where he wants us to be. He always knows. Glory be to God. He's a God who has positioned us for purpose. As a result, he would work it out so that we would get to that place of purpose. Days, weeks, months, years passed. And Joseph grew to become the man that God had intended for him to be. He moved from the pit to the prison to the palace. Glory be to God. I love the way the P's are sounding. The pit, the prison, the palace. You're positioned for purpose. Honestly speaking, there's no telling where the plans of God for our lives are going to take us. And sometimes we don't even know the path that we would have to take to get there. But what is important is to know that God, God is the one who's orchestrating things. God is the one who has a roadmap for our lives. He has already predestinated us from the foundation of the world. As a result, we can trust his plans. We can trust and know that whatever life brings us, he has a master plan. As a result, he would cause the things in our life to shift so that we could get to that place of destiny and fulfill his purpose for our lives. I want to encourage you not to become distracted, not to become hopeless. If you find yourself struggling, if you find yourself lost, if you find yourself wandering, if you find yourself hopeless and it seems as if nothing is working out for you, know that God has the master plan and he would lay every brick in the right place until you become a complete structure that he has already envisioned you to be. May God bless you. May you be encouraged today. May your heart be strengthened. Receive strength today in Jesus' name. Be blessed and have a great one.